んにちは。Hello, everyone. 今日も一緒に日本語を勉強しましょう。Let's study Japanese together again today. 前回は Some textbooks call them group one or class one verbs. Basically, u verbs are those that do not belong to the ru verbs and irregular verbs. They have various endings u, ku, su, tsu, nu, mu, ru, gu, and bu. When you change Ordinary rude type verbs into the polite present affirmative form, you just replace the root ending with mas. t But with u type verbs, it's not quite as simple. You first have to change the final u sound to e, and then attach the polite present affirmative ending mas. t U changes to e. And then, mas. t For example, wakaru, which means to understand, changes to wakarimasu. Got it? Wakarimasu ka? Let's start with iku, which means to go. The most important word for getting around. Iku. Iku. Iku changes in the polite form to ikimasu. This might remind you a little of the irregular verb, which means to come, kuru, whose polite form is kimasu. Ikimasu, kimasu. So, kimasu is to come and Ikimasu is to go. Ikimasu. Ikimasu. So, how do you say I will go tomorrow? Watashi wa ashita ikimasu. Watashi wa ashita ikimasu. Some u verbs end in u. Skau. The u ending becomes i m a s So the polite form is skaimasu. Skaimasu. So how do you say I use a computer every day? Computer is kompyuta. And every day is mainichi. Mainichi. We can skip watashi wa. From the practice sentence. Don't forget to use the direct object particle o. Mainichi computer o skaimasu. Mainichi computer o skaimasu. The next verb ends in mu. Nomu. Nomu. Mu at the end becomes mi masu. Now, Can you say the mas form? Nomimas. Nomimas. Let's ask the question Do you drink sake? Sake is the Japanese rice wine or alcoholic drinks in general. Sake. Sake. It's politer to call it osake. With the polite prefix o. So let's use that here. O sake o nomimasu ka? O sake o nomimasu ka? Here's another word for something we drink water. Mizu. 
水。水。How about I drink a lot of water? The direct object is 水を which is water, followed by the adverb たくさん which means a lot. 水をたくさん。水をたくさん飲みます。水をたくさん飲みます。Some u verbs end in su. 話す話す So what's the must form? Su becomes she. 話します話します How do you ask the question? Do you talk on the phone every day? The word for phone is 電話 And the phrase on the phone is 電話で De is the particle expressing the means. 毎日電話で話しますか毎日電話で話しますか Some u verbs end in ぶ選ぶ選ぶ What's the must form? 選びます。選びます。Can you say the sentence, I will choose a present? You can use the word プレゼント for present, but don't forget the direct object particle. プレゼント、プレゼント。プレゼントを選びます。プレゼントを選びます。Now, There are also some u verbs that actually end in ru. For example, a good word for getting around is noru. 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 Where the polite form is norimasu. Norimasu. The negative form of those polite present u verbs is almost exactly the same. All you need is to use the negative ending masen. Instead of the affirmative, mas. Norimasen. Norimasen. So, let's try the sentence. I don't ride the bus very much. Use amari with the negative for not very much or not very often. Amari negative. Amari negative. The verb noru takes the particle ni and not the direct object marker o. We say basu ni noru for riding a bus or getting onto a bus. Amari basu ni norimasen. Amari basu ni norimasen. How about train? It's densha. Can you ask the question, do you take a train? 電車、電車、電車に乗りますか電車に乗りますか ?Several other basic verbs we'll learn later on also have the ending ru. Yet follow the u verb pattern of changing ru to rimasu in the polite form. 帰る、帰る。走る、走る、作る、作る、and 入る、入る。Can you say the must form for 帰る帰ります、帰ります。How about 走る走ります、走ります。Some u verbs end in gu. Isogu. Isogu. What's the must form? Isogimas. Isogimas. Let's make another negative sentence. This time, let's use the invitation ending masenka. This will mean, would you like us to hurry? Or why don't we hurry? And you can Gently urge someone to hurry. Let's try to say, why don't we hurry a little? A little is ちょっと. 
ちょっと急ぎませんかちょっと急ぎませんか Maybe you can use that sentence to try to catch a train or try to walk through the crosswalk in Tokyo while the pedestrian lights are flashing. The next verb ends in tsu. Matsu. Matsu. This might be slightly tricky. The ending is tsu. But the E sound is not C, but Chi. As you may remember from the sequence, Ta Chi Tsu Te To, when you learn the hiragana. The sound C does not exist as a native Japanese sound. That's why the polite form is Machimas. Machimas. Let's try the invitation ending masenka again. How do you say, would you like to wait here? Or why don't we wait here? The location here is expressed with koko de. Koko de machimasenka? Koko de machimasenka? Now, the last possible Ooh, verb syllable is nu. Shinu. Shinu. And what is the polite form with masu? Shinimas. Shinimas. I wanted to come up with some basic useful verbs here with all the possible u verb endings. Unfortunately, There is only one verb in Japanese that has this nu ending, which is shinu, to die. So that's why it is included in this group of everyday activity verbs. So, how do you say, do zombies die? Zombi wa shinimasu ka? Zombi wa shinimasu ka? So, let's look at the pattern one more time for changing all the u verbs from the dictionary form into their polite mas form. Iku, iku, ikimas, ikimas, matsu, matsu, machimas, machimas, nomu, nomu, nomimas. Nomimas, isogu, isogu, isogimas, isogimas, erabu, erabu, erabimas, erabimas, skau, skau, skaimas, skaimas, hanasu, hanasu, hanashimas, hanashimas, noru, Noru, norimasu, norimasu, shinu, shinu, shinimasu, shinimasu. In lesson three, you learn to say, Kore wa nan desu ka? Are wa 神社です。あれは神社です。これ and あれ in those sentences are called demonstratives. Japanese demonstratives are a set of words that start with ko, so, a, do, ko, so, a, do. So if it's closer to the speaker, ko, If it's closer to the listener, so. Away from both, ah. Question, do. You have already learned a few of the demonstratives. Here's the set you've already heard for pointing out items, as well as the question word. Kore. This thing. 
this thing here near me. それ、that thing, that thing there near you. あれ、that thing over there, away from us. どれ、which thing? クリスさんのカバンはどれですかクリスさんのカバンはどれですかそれです。それです。More so than in English. In Japanese, the words for this and that are very closely related to the words for here and there. For example, これ means this and ここ is here. This set is used for places. ここ here, near me. そこ there, near you. あそこ over there, away from us. どこ where. 駅はどこですか駅はどこですかあそこです。あそこです。駅 is a new word, station. There are 駅 all over Japan. So you must know this word. 駅 Eki. But if you want to say this building or that house, then you, you need to use another set. They are adjectives. The first three are demonstratives and the fourth one is an interrogative. Kono noun. This noun. Sono noun. That Noun, near you. あの noun, that noun over there, away from us. And どの noun, which noun. If you think of the noun connecting particle の, then この is a little like saying of here. あの建物は何ですかあの建物は何ですかどの建物ですかどの建物ですか By the way, 建物 is a building. It comes from the ru verb 建てる plus 物 which means thing. It's formed just like the word 着物 which comes from the ru verb 着る to wear followed by 物 Thing. Let's get some more practice with particles. Ni is a very versatile particle. We also use the ni particle in the time lesson. For example, at three o'clock is sanji ni. Shinkansen wa 3時に来ます。新幹線は3時に来ます。に is used with a specific clock time, but also for a specific day, week, month, or year. But not with the relative time expressions such as today and tomorrow. に can also express the direction or destination to a place. For example, last time you heard Harajuku ni dekakemas, which is go out to Harajuku. By contrast, when doing something at or in Harajuku, we said Harajuku de kaimono shimas, which is do shopping in Harajuku. Watashi wa ashita Tokyo ni 行きます。私は明日東京に行きます。Very similar to に、the particle え can be used in the same way for a destination or direction. 東京へ行きます。has the same meaning as 東京に行きます。
The only difference is that the particle e has a slightly more formal feel. It's written with the hiragana he, even though the pronunciation got simplified over time to just e. Watashi wa ashita Tokyo e ikimasu. Watashi wa ashita Tokyo e ikimasu. The last one I'm showing you here is the location particle de. It can be at, on, in, for, wherever an action takes place. Watashi wa daigaku de benkyo shimasu. Watashi wa daigaku de benkyo shimasu. Watashi wa nihon de sushi o tabemasu. Watashi wa nihon de sushi o tabemasu. De has another use which you have seen. It expresses the means for doing something and can be translated into using, by means of, with, in, etc. Watashi wa basu de ikimasu. Watashi wa basu de ikimasu. De is also used for how to say something in Japanese or in English. Eigo de hanashimasen ka? Eigo de hanashimasen ka? Sore de wa dialogue desu. In this dialogue, Becky and Megan are trying to get to a cat cafe somewhere in Tokyo. Perhaps they are in Shinjuku, Harajuku, Akihabara, Ikebukuro, or any of the other areas where cat cafes can be found. They ask a stranger for directions. Let's warm up with a few short versions. Sumimasen, neko cafe wa Doko desu ka? Asoko desu. Domo. Here's another one with do yatte ikimasu ka, which means how do you go? The question word for how is actually a phrase which literally means by doing what or how. Do yatte. You also hear the word masugu, which means straight. Masugu. Sumimasen. Neko cafe ni wa do yatte ikimasu ka? Koko o masugu ikimasu. Soshite hidari ni miemasu yo. Domo arigatou gozaimasu. Mieru means to be visible or can see. Mieru. Asoko ni fujisan ga miemasu. Here's a verb useful for exploring town on foot. Aruku means to walk. Aruku. Interestingly, in Japanese, where you walk is expressed with the direct object particle o. Let's add the adverb masugu from earlier. Koko o masugu arukimasu. Here's another verb you may need when walking around in town. Wataru, watarimasu, which means to cross. Wataru. It's often used with the noun shingo, which means traffic light. Shingo. Ano shingo o watarimasu. To get to your destination, you may need to turn right or left. The verb is magaru, magarimasu. Magaru. The verb magaru is often used with kado o, which means around the corner, as well as migi ni, to the right, and hidari ni, to the left. Kado. Migi, hidari. Kado o migi ni magarimasu. That means please listen. 
ちょっといいですかええ、どうぞ。この近くの猫カフェ、わかりますかええ、わかりますよ。どうやって行きますかまず、ここをまっすぐ行きます。はい。そして、信号を渡ります。あれですね。そうです。そして、角を右に曲がります。そして、ちょっと歩きます。左に見えますよ。どうもありがとうございます。いえ、どういたしまして。どうですかわかりますか Megan asked, ちょっといいですか at the beginning, right after, すみません。It is a very good way to begin asking someone if it's okay to talk to them before asking your question. いいですか means, is it okay? 近く means, near or vicinity. So, この近くの猫カフェ。means the cat cafe near here. Please go back and listen to it again. You should try saying the sentences aloud. Tokyo is the capital of Japan with a population of approximately 14 million. Japanese people often consider Tokyo as one of the 47 prefectures rather than a true city. The metropolitan prefecture of Tokyo is made up of 23 special wards to the east, plus 26 cities, 5 towns, and 8 villages. When people outside Japan talk about Tokyo, They often think of those 23 special wards, which are all gathered on the eastern part of the prefectural Tokyo. For example, Harajuku is an area found inside Shibuyaku or Shibuya ward of Tokyo. By the way, as I said earlier, Tokyo is one of the 47 prefectures of Japan. In each prefecture, there are local municipalities. They are cities, towns, villages, and in the case of Tokyo, there are also special wards which are just like bigger cities. Cities are called shi. And they are bigger and more populated than towns, which are called machi. And machi are bigger and more populated than mura, which are villages. A typical address in Japan may appear reversed to you and it does not have a street name. It starts with the zip code, then the prefecture name, then the city name, And then a small area or neighborhood within a city. Then the numbers follow for the specific district, block, and building. 350-1305 埼玉県狭山市入間川5丁目5番地5号 The three numbers at the end are often shortened to Go no go no go. You have learned all the hiragana so far, but there are also some digraphs, which means two letters representing one sound. That is, Japanese can have two hiragana characters representing one syllable. You already know this type of digraph sound from words and place names with a Chinese origin, such as Kyoto. The Japanese digraph combinations consist of any of 12 consonants 
and the semi-vowel y sound and three of the vowels a, u, or o. So, there are quite a few possible combinations. Kya, kyu, kyo, sha, shu, sho, cha, chu, cho, nya, nyu, nyo, hya, hyu, hyo, mya, nyu, myo, dya, dyu, dyo, ya, gyu, gyo, ja, ju, jo. There is another set for writing these same three sounds, but these are very rare. Ja, ju, jo. Ju is obsolete in modern Japanese. Bya, bu, byo. Pya, pyu, pyo. Kono lesson wa kore de owari desu. This is the end of the lesson. Mina san wa mai nichi nani o shimasu ka? Mai nichi kaisha ni ikimasu ka? Mai nichi arukimasu ka? Hashirimasu ka? Densha ni norimasu ka? Remember the u verb polite forms? Tsugi no lesson means next lesson. So, Sugi no lesson de aimashou means let's meet at the next lesson. Minasan, Sugi no lesson de aimashou ne!